Hi everyone, I'm happy to say that my patrons have now managed to successfully fund version 4 of the community material pack. So this is a free resource, yay, finally, you know. It's been around for a while, but I have been trying to find ways to make more free stuff for everyone that doesn't have anything to do with the Patreon and my regular paid products. Well, it does have something to do with the Patreon, but we'll discuss that. A while ago, I came up with this idea that my Patreon wage defines how many hours per month I work on things that will specifically become freely available for everyone. So it's basically a way that I can get paid while still making things for everyone. As a test, we've been working on a couple of things. We've been doing Bygen, the generative modeling add-on, but that's quite a large project still, so it'd take a while before it becomes available. But mixed in with that, I did a teeny tiny update for the community material pack just to put it through this process. There's like a spreadsheet to track all the time, the overtime and all that, and it tells me when it needs to release. Uh, but basically we've reached that point. The overtime has been paid for by the Patreon now. So what is involved in version four? Well, we've got a new lighting setup here, a new preview object. The alien ruin materials have had their material nodes basically taken out of a node group to make them more readable now and easier to modify. Uh, a redundant version was also removed. You got good like color control here. You can swap between uh, different colors for these ones as you like. These can be easily modified into concrete like materials. We added a fake prismatic glass material. So let's check that. Uh, this one was from a, another video somewhat recently, an effect that people found really, really cool. It was like simulating prismatic, but without actually doing anything. It's just like a color ramp, but you can change the vector input as well. And you can get like some really cool effects with it. So it's quite a fun one to play around with, especially if you have bloom color coming up with the reflections. Added denoising and glare to the compositor for preview renders. That's just for the file. Remove HDRI from the world nodes because it's a new lighting setup. Replace the material blob with the new material preview sphere. So this is actually an object that I use in my like afterglow for doing asset renders. Lighting updated with a darker light catcher. Unmarked matcap material as an asset due to it not working in every case. So there was a matcap material where the mapping was not quite right. That was removed, but it's still in the previous version. So you can go back and see it. Added, remove basic subsurface balance color material as it was redundant. Remove distortion from the brushed material effect. So some things were removed, but some things were added. We'll get to more of that. So basically here's the brushed metal in the community pack. It used to have this wavy distortion on it, which we've removed because it's kind of just nicer keeping it clean. You have like control over all the values, by the way. So it's quite good to play around with. Well, the brushed is a node group as well, so you can go in it and see how that works. Added mapping node next to the vector input for the brushed material to make it easy to control the rotation of the effect. Yep, so in the brushed metal, if you go to the rotation, you can basically spin it around, do all sorts. Easier to control now. Increase the default scale of the carbon fiber material. Let's add that. Here we go, carbon fiber. If you like cards and car-like things, you know, I'm sure you'll enjoy playing around with this one. This has like kind of differential color control as well. So you can get creative with it. Remove subtle color from the battered metal material. Here we are. Yeah, there was a bit of like a color variation on this one. Uh, we've removed that. Again, you can play around with all the values here. Remove default noise input from the CRT material to keep it clean. Yeah, so I've cleaned up the CRT. Let's grab that, where are you? Here it is. So the CRT is a fun one because you can input things. If you wanted to, you just pass it as the input color, or you can just have it as a flat color and you can get some cool effects. Actually, that's really cool, like holographic. So CRT is what you would use for like TV screens and stuff. So again, this is free for you to download and play with. It's free on Gumroad. It might be $1 on Superhive, I think. I'm not sure if they still only restrict free products to like paid accounts on Superhive, but it's definitely free on Gumroad. I also, I don't know if you can read all this. I reduced the AO level of the rainbow metal material to balance it out a little bit. Added volume material as a simple shortcut to the print principled volume shader is because I use it quite a lot for this type of thing. Added a Fresnel material as a shortcut to the layer weight Fresnel effect. Again, I like to use Fresnel. This is just like a little shortcut to getting that basic on an object. We've got some color ramps in there as well. So you can like clamp it easily. That's for both. So it's a nice starting point. Added nebula material from the old nebulaic blender experiment. So way back in the day, like early on in my channel, I did all these nebula videos. Here we go. Oh my god, that is laggy. Although to be fair, there's quite a lot going on in it. So it's a complex nebula effect. It's inner volume material that is now freely available. I mean, that kind of effect was always freely available, but yeah, now you can play with it. But again, please keep in mind that it's a nebula in a sphere. It's, it's intense. It's very reactive to light as well, this type of thing. So what have we also got? Oh, a couple of like product uh, rendering ones. So we've got product matte plastic. Oh, I love this one because it's got like this kind of subtle, um, you know, the kind of plastic you see on the side of like cameras and stuff like that. Love it. So we've got the matte plastic and we've also got a glossy version as well, which is just 
sexy. I know I've shown this in a video before. When this version was added to the pre-release for patrons, I talked about all this stuff already, but you know, a lot of time's gone by now, so I'm just letting you know this is actually available. Go and download it. You know, I'm kind of excited. It's been a while since I've been able to say to people, hey, this is available for everyone. Um, there's way more stuff I need to add to this as well. Like we've got a backlog of old materials to add and all that. So yeah, but this was cool because this was the first like test of that Patreon fund system working now. If you go to codisol.online slash Patreon, you can see a chart where there's the overtime I've spent on free projects and the last fund amount. And you can see how much of the overtime it's going to take a chunk out by the time the next month comes around. Obviously, depending on how many people sign up or leave, that will either grow or shrink. But now the overtime has almost entirely been paid for. So I need to get back to work on free projects. Otherwise, there will be a deficit and I will have time that I need to catch up on. So basically, if the overtime gets paid for, you will keep paying for hours that will bank up, and then I will need to spend those hours working on free things for people. About Biogen, by the way, now that Blender 5.0 is out, because we were kind of keeping an eye on it for the bundles and closure system, Charon and I do have a working version of Biogen, but we want to add more effects to make it interesting. Again, I did a video about that somewhat recently. I know people are waiting for it. There's just so many projects to do. But like I always said, you will hear about it as soon as I have something to show. Charon, when are you next going to be free to help me work on Biogen? I'm going on a trip soon in the next week, so you know, I'll be out for 15 days and then New Year, so January 2nd. Okay, yeah, I'll do something in between and yeah. then we'll, we'll carry on. So thanks for watching, everyone. Consider signing up to the Patreon. You can help join this endeavor by trying to get more free things made for people, as well as getting access to exclusive things yourself. You know, there's that whole side of things also going on continuously. So yeah, enjoy and I'll see you next time.